Ooh, there's one right there. Ooh, that feels like a heavy fish. Or that is a heavy fish. Oh yeah, this feels like a good one. I'm in a bit of a tough spot here. Just turn to go against the wind and try to slow it down a little bit. This is a big fish. Let's get this thing dialed down, see if we can just, there we go. Boy, I can barely move this fish, holy smokes. This is a big fish. I'll tell you right now though, whatever it is, this is a big fish. When he hit it, he hit it big. I got a feeling this is a big pike, I think. Holy smokes though, did this fish hit it? And it would lead me to, I mean, I would believe this is a big pike if, if that's what happened, because I mean, yeah, I think it is. I think it's a big pike or a muskie, one of the two. Oh, we'll see in a minute. Unless, no, you know what it is? It's just a good walleye. But here's what happened when he hit it. He got one set of hooks in his mouth, but then the other set got around on the side. It's a good walleye. <laughs> but it's as simple as it just got, he got one set of hooks in his mouth, and then got one set of hooks, got over onto his side. What a great fish. That's an awesome fish. I'll tell you, bomber lures, in my opinion, are one of the best lures out there. And here's why. Not only do they catch walleyes we're chasing today, not only over the years have they been one of the best pike baits that you could find. I mean, they, they catch bass, they catch, they, they just, they catch everything. And that's what's so great about bomber lures. I'm gonna show you what we're using today as soon as I get this fish unbuttoned. I'm trying to unbutton him in the net just to make it easier. Look at that. Awesome walleye. I thought he was something bigger than that, but I'll tell you what, take that all day long. What a great fish. Let me tell you a little bit about these bomber lures and what makes them so good though. I'm using the 15A today. The 15A, in my opinion, is just a great lure for pulling on lead core or pulling in shallow water. This thing doesn't dive real deep. It's just gonna dive a few feet. But when you put it down on lead core and you get that five feet for every color that you're letting out, you can put this lure down there and it's got a great action. So ultimately I can fish it at any depth as soon as I go to a, a lead core system or maybe even downrigger system. But here's what makes the 15A such a great bait. Number one, tons of awesome colors, all right? It's kind of one of my sleeper baits for walleyes. A lot of people over the years have thought about bomber for bass, they've thought about them for pike, they've thought about them in salt water. And I'll tell you what, they, they catch fish everywhere, but man, is it a sleeper lure for walleyes. Now, I'm gonna show you this one I'm using today because when I talk about awesome colors and decorations, man, look at the sparkle on that lure. I mean, it is just absolutely beautiful. But here's the big thing about this 15A. Great rattles. The kind of rattle that's gonna grab their attention. It's loud enough to grab their, intention, or their attention, but it's not intrusive, okay? And then number two, just an awesome action. It's a wider wobble than you would think. When you look at that little bill, you're thinking to yourself, boy, that's gonna be a tight little wiggler. It's not. This 15A actually rolls back and forth to the side and has an awesome action. It's a great lure for attracting fish. It's a great lure for grabbing their attention. And day in and day out, man, it's one of my favorite lures when it comes down to walleye fishing because it just flat out catches them. That's the 15A. Make sure you got some of these. There's a lot of great lures out there. This one's a sleeper and it's a walleye catcher.